Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. And I would say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are located. As the president announced, the topic of my presentation is Atas Nyash. During the course of my presentation, I shall address the questions which are fleshed on the slide. Is the holy fire considered the son of our master? What do we take when we visit the holy fire and why? What do we ask when we stand in front of the holy fire and recite? In turn, what blessings does the holy fire bestow on us? And how does the Holy Fire encourage all of us to remain active and energetic? And finally, the Holy Fire cautions us also to be environmentally conscious. I shall cover my presentation in the following sequence. I shall start with a quotation, then I shall get on to the time when this litany, Atasnyas, was composed. What are its unique features? When do we recite the Atasnyas? Who are the scholars that I have studied for this in preparation for this presentation? Then I shall take a little while to discuss the phrase Atro Aure Mazdao Putra, which is often repeated in Atasnyas. Then the organization, meaning the grouping, which is my own doing followed by explanation and interpretation of the verses along with recitation. What I mean is that before I get on to the explanation of a verse, I shall recite that verse. Then recap, followed by general comments and benediction, and the whole thing should take approximately 45 minutes. Here is the quotation. No scripture in the world can be understood merely by analyzing its words and its grammar. It has to be practiced. And when we live the life according to the rules laid down in a scripture, we are following some divine messenger and we are trying to work for the Lord. And this is the translation by a quotation by Dr. Eris Tarapurwala, very famous scholar of the Gathas. When was the Atasnyas composed? It is generally believed that the extant Avastha was put together during the Sasanian dynasty. And it is believed that during Shapur II's second, his high priest and his prime minister, the Sur Adarbad Maraspan, was responsible for it. So it may not be incorrect for us believe that Atasnyas was put together during Sasanian rule under the ages of Dasur Adarbad Maharashtra. What are the unique features? Firstly, Atasnyas can be recited at any time of the day, unlike other Nyashis. We all know that there are other four Nyashis, Korset Mer, to be recited during daylight hours. Mahabhakta Nyas is only after sunset and Ardhavishu Nyas in front of a water source. Atas Nyas is the only litany which has passages from Aunavad Gatha. Three passages from Yasna 33 and a single passage from Yasna 34. This also, Atas Nyas also is a combination of three different yasna has. It starts with the Usma Yudhareshwa, which is the beginning of the Nyayas, where you have three paragraphs from Yasna 33. The main Nyayas is Yasna Ha 62. And then you end with a paragraph from Yasna 34, and that paragraph is Atto Yatrimaura. And if you see this configuration, it's very unique. You see the core, 
and the core is 62, has 62. Then you have the inner ring. And inner ring is made of Gothic passages on either side. At the beginning is Usma Yudhareshwa, and the other side is Atoyatri. Then the inner ring is also protected by passages from Pazan, which is the outer ring. Now, the, to begin with, is the Azama Guna Patet Prasimano. And at the other end is Dadare Gihan. So if you look at Atasnyas, you start with Pazan, which is Azamaguna, then followed by three passages, verses from Gatha, Usmoyu Jareswa, then the core, Yasna 62, which are 10 verses. Then you come to Attoyatrim, again a Gathic passage, and you end with Pazan passage, which is Dadare Gehandine Masdeyasri. This is the only nyas where you, well, as an individual, when you're reciting unknowingly, you're asking for something from the holy fire. I'm sure many of us do not know that. You're seeking something. You're wishing for something. Whereas the other four nyasas, when we recite, we only praise elements of nature related to that particular nyas. When do we recite Apasnyas? As we all know, the Mobis, when they, when they do the boy ceremony at Atasveram, Atas Adaran, Atas Dadga, they recite the Atasnyas. Many of us have seen when we have jasans at a central place or at your own home, before starting the ceremony, the Mobis stand and recite Atasnyas. In individual capacity, when we visit Atas Behram or Atas Dadga or Atas Adaran, we recite Atas Nyas. It's a common practice for most of us that when we recite, when we do our Farajya daily prayers, we recite Atas Nyas. However, in person revives, it is enjoined that one must recite this Nyas on five days of the week, of the month, that is Hormas, Ardives, Adar, Saros, Behram. Edward Kavasji Kanga says that you must recite this nyas every day if possible. Now, do I practice what I preach? Yes, I recite Atas nyas every day when I do my Farajyat or daily prayers. When you read the translation of Atasnyas by various scholars, you have a very wide spectrum. On one hand, it is very spiritual. Then you come down to physical sentiments of the prayer. I have studied three scholars to prepare for this presentation. Dastur Menoche Ramji's explanation is very esoteric, very philosophical. Mr. Temura Setna is, I would say, amalgam of spiritual and physical attributes. Whereas Edward Kavasji Kanga is more practical, written in very simple language, easy to comprehend, and for lay people like us, it is very appealing. So I have selected Edward Kanga's uh, translation, and my narration is based on his interpretation. A caveat that I shall restrict my presentation to the core of the nyas, that is 10 verses, starting with Yasnamcha Vamamcha, and the last one is Upatva Akshayit Geuswatva Upavirana. Let's talk about Atro Auremazdao Putra. Majority of Zarthusti and Western scholars translate the word putra as the son of, and interpret the phrase as son of Auramazda. Whereas Setna and Edward Kanga interpret fire as the purifier agency of Auramazda. And how do they arrive at this? They derive the meaning of putra from Sanskrit root pu, meaning to purify. So Edward Kanga translates the phrase as O oh fire, the purifier pertaining to Auramazda, whereas Setna translates as O oh purifying fire of Auramazda. 
Dastur Minoja Rahumji philosophically translates as light divine. The phrase is repeated about 18 times in this prayer, but surprisingly, it's only for four times in the core in those two 10 paragraphs. Let's see what does Gatha say about Atro Remazdao Putra. Fire is mentioned eight times in the Gathas as listed, Kaunavad Gatha, Ustavad, Spentumad, and Bhokshatra. Fire is not referred as God's son, God's child, but it is referred as Auramazda's fire with a phrase Tvatra Sutra, which appears in Aunavad Gatha in her 31, and it means your pervading radiant fire of creation. This organization is my own understanding. I have just divided this, these 10 paragraphs, the core of the nyas in various segments based on the context. The first three paragraphs are dealing with the admiration, adoration, and veneration of fire, so I've grouped them in one segment. Then the next three paragraphs are requests for fulfillment of desires and wishes. This is a devotee. When we are reciting prayers, this is what we are asking. So I've grouped them again. Then is the next single paragraph is reverence and devotion to fire from a devotee. Segment four is very interesting. Verse eight, there is a question that is being asked. And in verse nine, we get the answer to that question. And finally, segment five, which is the last verse, is the benediction and blessings from the divine light. As I had said, I shall, before I go to the explanation or a translation, I shall recite the paragraph. Yasnam chau, vamem chau, veretim chau, ushta veretim chau, vant veretim chau, afriname. Tava atas putra, au rivasal. Yasne vamayau, yasne vuyau, vamayau, namanau, masyakanam. Ustabuyao to my nire, yes, it wow, bother friars, I day. I is mojasto, but is mojasto, go justo, have no justo. The devotee praises the fire by saying, O oh, purifying our, of our Mazda. You are worthy of praise and homage in abodes of mankind. May there be happiness and good fortune unto whom who worship thee with fuel, barsam, milk, and mortar in hand. My assessment is to me it implies that every Zarthosti home should have fire burning for it to be praised, which in older days before the advent of electric and gas fire was the norm. And if you recall, in our childhood, when we said our evening prayers, we went into the kitchen and in front of the fire, hearth fire, we recited Atasnyas. In present times, our homes, in our homes, the hearth fire is replaced by a Devo, an oil lamp, or a candle or a tea light, and now with electric lights. While the first paragraph establishes fire as praiseworthy and laudable, the next paragraph speaks of adoration by providing proper nourishment. Daitio es me buyao, daitio boidi buyao, daitio pitri buyao, daitio pasene buyao. 
Berenaios, hare trebuiau, damaios, hare trebuiau, atas putrau, ou remazau. Purifying fire of our Mazda, may you have the right wood, the right incense, the right nourishment, the right firewood. May thou be provided with food for a long time. In physical sense, it means that for lack of fuel, fire should not get extinguished. It is like any living being that needs proper nourishment to remain healthy. The fire should also be nourished well for it continue to blaze. This is what one wishes that the fire gets its proper nourishment. Sauchebuyam Yanamane, Mat Sauchebuyam Yanamane, Rau Chebuyam Yanamane, Vaksha Trabuyam Yanamane, Dare Gim Chin, Taipis Ravanem, Upasuram, Frasukeretin, Hada Suriyao, Wanguyao, Frasukeretoi. This is compliments to fire. It says, fire of Aura Mazda. May you burn in this house. May you ever burn in this house for a long time till the renovation. Bring brilliance to this house. Bring prosperity to this house. One can interpret the meaning of this paragraph in two different ways. One, these are blessings for a home. Two, Fire is revered as a visible symbol of inner light, the spark that dwells in every human being and the flame that burns within each of us. We need to keep that spark ignited and the fire blazing. In physical sense, it is to remain active, industrious and progressive. Let's Discuss this paragraph in practical sense. When you come across an individual who is lethargic, lazy, idle, who's not moving along, what do we say? This individual does not have fire in the belly. And that is precisely that you must have fire in the belly. To me, it is the most appealing part of the prayer very often I recite and translate this paragraph when I do jasan in someone's home. We now come to the section where an adherent prays for fulfillment of one's desire and wishes. In next three paragraphs, the devotee asks through the fire what he or she desires to get fulfilled. Dayao me atas putrao remazao Asu katreng, asu triting, asu ziting Oru katreng, oru ziting Masim spano triwareng Hizwam urneu si kratum paschaita Masit mazam tem apairiatrem nairiam paschetal ham varitem. O fire of Auramazda, the purifier grant me comfort and sustenance, long life, happiness, greatness, wisdom, eloquent tongue intelligence for my soul, intellect which may increase in proportion and may not diminish, strength of manliness. This is what, when we recite Atasnyas, this is what we are seeking.
next let's get to the next paragraph erdvo sangam tafniyam prishum snantyam shafnantyam asitogatum zagaurum putrusham asnam sazante Arsurazam Vyakanam Hamrodam Havapam Azubuzim Haviram Yamevradayam Namanam Chau Visam Chau Zantum Chau Dakhyam Chau Dangu Sastim Chau Once again the devotee prays for wounds that can increase good and righteous life the worshipper desires strength for standing firm footed wakefulness sleeping one third that is 8 hours of the day and night steadiness in one's duty quick to rise from bed wakefulness desires for a progeny whose nourishing of innate wisdom ruling over regions sitting in the assembly thoroughly developed possessed of good respect delivering from distress as powerful as a hero an offspring who may render my home my family my town my country and the religion of my country prosperous let's discuss it the other way the devotee is saying may i be ever active never drowsy and dull resting only one third of the day that is watchful even when seated and at rest seeking a progeny who may they may be intelligent self sustaining guiding the anjuman with all round development and accomplishment self redeeming and superior intelligence such a progeny that would advance life at various levels and stages of self realization which is philosophical the next paragraph is the prayer it's the last verse of prayer for human aspirations where devotee wishes for guidance to righteousness that can lead to a peaceful salvation for the soul i am atish putra remsa Yami angat afrasongo naremchau yavai taite vais temo masunam rautingen vispokatre zaze buye vangau chimize vangau chasravai urune chau darege avange. O fire of our Mazda, grant me such knowledge and point out such a course, so that I may perform virtuous deeds, pay homage to our Mazda, lead my soul to goodness, so that after my passing away, I may obtain for my good deeds the exalted place of heaven in return. it says you can also view it as may i deserve that result of my life dedicated to virtue devotion and duty the next verse is particularly interesting as it speaks of the yearning of the sacred fire for the dedication of the devotee which is Vispebio sastimrati atashmasau aure yai biyam pachaitai 
Shaf Nimcho, Sui Nimcho, Vispe Mio, Hachay Zayate, Ubere Timcho, Ustabere Timcho, Wantabere Timcho. That fire of Auramas, the commands unto all for whom the fire cooks the evening and noon meals, that is, gives them good understanding. The fire solicits a good, healthy, and friendly offering. Dr. Minocharomji very philosophically says, the light divine yearns the triple dedication of virtue, light, and love. The next paragraph is the one where the question has been asked. Vispanam paracharantam atas dasaridye chimakasabaraiti fracharetfau arme saide atarem spentem yasamaide akmementem rathe starem. Fire looks at the hands of visitors and asks, what does a walking friend bring to the sitting friend? We praise fire, the beneficent, powerful, shining warrior. Here the walking friend is interpreted as a devotee, that is you and me, when we approach the holy fire. While the sitting friend is that blazing fire which is enthroned in Sanctum Sanctorum. Let us bring it down to our level. When you get invited by a friend of yours or by your neighbor, or when you go to visit a friend, do we go empty handed? No. We carry a bottle of wine, we carry a box of chocolates, or we carry a bouquet of flowers. So the host opens the bottle and drinks, eats chocolates, and we place a bouquet of flower, that bouquet in its home. Similarly, when you are going to pay your respect, or when we go to respect, pay our respect to holy fire, what should we carry? We should carry something that is useful. So answer to this question, is in the next paragraph. Altye zishem bareti esmem vau asaya baretem varesmau vasaya frastaretem urvaram vau padane patam ae paschaita frinaiti atasmazau aure snuto atbisto hadadangum we evoke personification of sacred element to determine what will satiate and please the holy fire so that it may grant blessings to worshipper. The answer to the question is, if any person brings unto that fire fuel with sincere heart and barsam or barsam spread or the fragrant plant Adanapeta unto him. Then, fire of Aura Mazda being pleased, revered and satisfied, gives a blessing. Now, what is the blessing, which is in the next paragraph? Upatva Kshayadgyo Swatva Upaviranam Aurutal Upatva veres vachyao, mano veres vatichao, akshoi ngangguao. Urvauks ngangguao, gajigeshao, tauk shapanong yao zavai. Imata throwa frivanen yomai, esmem bareti kush, rochao spairistao. The blessings are 
May the flock of cattle increase in thy family. May there be an increase of heroic men. May thou have an active mind and may thy life be active. Mayest thou live a joyous life those nights thou livest. In other words, what it says is, may the family be in possession of ample means. Blessed with many worthy sons, endowed with active and alert mind, enjoying of life of larger interests. Such is the range of blessings for the person who offers for inner illumination that is free from pollution. Now, I would like to dwell a little bit on the last bullet. Who brings dry fuel examined in light? Now, what is the meaning of this? It says that the fuel that we select should be after removing the bark and ensure that it is devoid of insects and polluted objects. We should ensure that the fuel we offer to fire be absolutely dry and clean. Wet and dry fuel never to be offered to fire. As we know that wet fuel creates smoke and pollutes environment. And there are these injunctions written in riwayats. So as we see, the Nyayas unambiguously directs us to be aware and to take care of environment. It also tells us that what we offer to sacred fire must be bone dry and free of polluting microbial matters. And if you follow these instructions, the fire, the holy fire, will bestow you with good wishes and benedictions. And here I have said, Udwada priests' homes. Many of us have visited Udwada, and if you go past priests' homes, uh, before that, let me tell you that in Udwada there is a tradition, custom, and a norm that the priest who performs the boy ceremony in Atasbiram is responsible to provide the logs of fire, what we call kati. It is his responsibility. So what do these priests do? Before that turn comes, three months, six months in advance, they get these logs of fire and they put them, they spread them in their backyard to dry. So many of us, whenever we visit, you may come across such scenes. Recapitulation, the uniqueness of Atasnyas can be recited any time, any time of the day. Then verse one to three talks about admiration, adoration, and veneration. Four to seven is your fulfillment of hopes and desires, what you are seeking you are asking. In quest, verse 8 is the question, what do I carry? What does a walking friend carry to a sitting friend? You get the answer in the, verse 9. And then the verse 10, it tells us, apart from the blessings, that you got to be conscious not to pollute environment. Now, my comments. When I go and visit an Atasbiram and when I stand in front of that blazing fire, I'm trying to connect with my creator through this holy fire. And I take it that this is a medium. When I recite my prayers at home, I only hope that the creator is listening. But when I visit the Atasbiram, when I see or Adiran, and when I see this blazing fire, this blazing fire is the medium. It is the exchange through which I connect to my creator. And looking at it, it also reminds me 
that I have to have fire in my belly. That inner spark should remain ignited and burning. And I should remain active and industrious. This Nyas addresses the hurt fire basically. And the prayer that we recite, it is recited. Recitation is by a single person. This you may you would agree with me, having gone through the translation, that is the impression that we get. And last, No prayer said with devotion can ever remain unanswered from your side. So whatever prayers we say, however short, if said with devotion, never goes unanswered. And my last slide, may your troubles be less, may your blessings be more, may nothing but happiness come through your door. Health unto you, happiness unto you, excellence unto you, may it be so, may it be more so. And gentlemen, before I end, thank you. And here I would like to introduce my assistant, whose name you read, Aidan Jehan Panthaki. He helped me put this PowerPoint presentation. Okay. He's our grandson. And here he is. To say, he's come to say hello to all of us. Thank you.